So you're telling me that you eat little or no food and that you are able to survive off that while there are people in other countries and in this country dying from starvation? Why don't we teach them how to be breatharians? Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, <laughs> today's video, I don't even know. I, I honestly don't even know. Before we get into it, if you would love to join this lovely chat here on my right, I think, um, <laughs> we'd love to have you. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, on Twitch at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you'd love to come, we would love to have you join us again, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Also, Pick up your scammy daddy shirt so you can let let the influencers know you're one to scam. Um, that'll be in the description as well. Um, so today's video, <sighs> I, I, was, I was shared this by my producer, and she said, don't watch it before. You need to watch this live. And when she told me the title, I was like, all right. So apparently, uh, trigger warning it may talk about bodily fluids in this video. I don't know what that means, but apparently be careful for that. The title of this video is This Man Hasn't Eaten in Four Years, Breathetarian, Breatharian, Breatharian, okay? I don't know. This is what I'm seeing right now, though. Uh, so let's see what this is all about, all right? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to go for it. Let's go. Breatharians are people who... Breatharians, okay. There we go. ...who claim to not eat food. <laughs> a rare breed of humans who say they get their energy from other sources, such as ancient breathwork techniques. Being... Well, I mean, he was just drinking something, so... You'll get calories from that, I'm assuming, right? well-versed in wacky wellness and spiritual topics, I've heard of breatharians before, but I've always been highly skeptical of them. It almost sounds like... <laughs> are these people for real, or are they all a bunch of liars? So, breathing gonna, exercises. Oh, sorry, I skipped on accident, my bad. Whoopsies. I'm gonna go with they're a bunch of liars, but that's just me. Jeff told me that he knew a real breatharian named Devon, a.k.a. the Black Airbender. I decided I had... This dude, though, looks very cool. I will say that. He'd trick me. He'd trick me. I'd be like, whatever you say. Do I get one of those triangle things? Because I'd like one. I had to meet him. So I headed to Miami to spend the day with the Black Airbender and immerse myself in his extreme lifestyle. These are nails. Like, you could really hurt yourself. You could, yes, you can. I feel like they're going to burst through my skin. Oh, I'm scared. And hopefully by the end of our day together, I would... Bro... Drinking coconut, am I tripping? Like, find okay. out if this guy is a real breatharian or a total scam. I still don't know if I believe you. I'm here to get the full experience, so I'm not gonna be eating today. I normally drink coffee or matcha or cacao or something with caffeine, and I have not had any caffeine. Uh, we're gonna get down to all the secrets and find out if he's a closet eater. Good morning! How are infinite you? Infinite Risings. Oh, you say Infinite Risings? I said Infinite Risings. Does this have clouds on it? Yeah! You dress- Why? Also, where can I get that top? That's for me! <laughs> You're so sweet. I always wear kimonos. Oh, okay. He's like, yeah, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the move? What are we doing? Well, I'll show you my rising routine. Okay. Then we can go to the park after. Great. <laughs> Sorry. Then we could go to the park, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Thank you. It smells so good in here. This is my partner, Jen. Are you a breatharian? Like, do you? Not eat. I eat, yeah. Okay. I'm not fully liquids yet. I'm slowly transitioning into it. Your appetite went down. I can feel the density of the food already. So I'm only having like one big meal a day. Dude, this is so. 
Oh man, this is wild. Theron is. I'm sorry. I'm not adding much to this. I am. I'm just okay. All right. Someone who eats little or nothing at all. One gets to a certain state of energy cultivation where they can sustain off the energy that they cultivated, where they don't need dense foods. My process is purely through breath mechanics and breathing. Some people. So you're telling me that you eat little or no food and that you are able to survive off that while there are people in other countries and in this country dying from starvation? Why don't we teach them how to be breatharians? But like, yo, I know that you can't get food often ever. Uh, just learn how to breathe correctly and you'll be fine. You won't need it. Come on. People would say, that's unhealthy, <laughs> that's anorexic, that's blah, blah, blah. That's obviously something you're probably yet criticism for, right? Yeah, but when you look at anorexia, that's more of a mental thing, right? When you look at mental diseases, anorexia falls under that. So if you change your breath, you change your mental patterns, I truly believe the first level of detox is your mind. You have not been eating for a year. No, four years. Four years. So two years, I was 80%, and I would have like one meal a week, and then I slowly progressed to fully 100%. <laughs> no way. I'm, I don't believe it. I'm just, I'm, I'm fully 100% skeptical of this. Fully don't believe it. I still don't know if I believe you. You probably get that. People don't believe you. Mm -hmm. Are you an alien though? No. <laughs> You're like, I'm sure I'm not. <laughs> we'll find out. How are you going to say no and then laugh while you have a triangle on your head, sir? No, it doesn't work like that. You don't, you don't get to be like, no, <laughs> let me take this triangle off my head real quick. Come on, what? I kind of want to talk about your space a little. Like, mm -hmm. it's just the pyramid thing for a minute because it's very prominent. Before even getting a physical pyramid, I was taught to envision it around me, expanding, contracting. I look at it as a meditative practice using metaphysical objects. Wait, I love this. <laughs> this is cool. I mean, it is cool and I would like one. But still. Yeah. I think I feel different just because I feel like I have a cool hat on. <laughs> <laughs> the significance of a pyramid is when you look at the face, this is the window to your soul, as I said. From your facial, from your eyebrows, and then you go all the way down here to your lip. After seeing that, like, I, you cannot, like, unsee it. I'm like, oh, it makes sense. It was time for Devon to show me some of his favorite breathing exercises. He said he starts most mornings with squat breathing. I dive deep in the sense of parasympathetic breathing, which is pure nasal breathing, <laughs> what I call You know, don't catch me doing that with my ankle mobility. My squats look like good mornings, baby. What's up? Alchemy breathwork. Mm. <laughs> this started eight years ago when I lost everything to a business partner. I was already on a spiritual path, but that pushed me even more. Did you ever think you would be doing oh, this? Oh, hell no. <laughs> it's not like a goal you have when you no. were little. I'm gonna no. grow up and be a breatharian. No. No. Devon explains that he got into breatharianism through an ancient Taoist fasting practice called Bigu and trained for months with a mentor called Asifu to learn all of the meditation and breathwork techniques that he says allows him to transcend the body and and sustain this lifestyle straight up like how is that possible i think about it like this if one can heal a lot faster it just it just makes sense logically in that sense in the sense of when you breathe more efficiently you assimilate more nutrients either from the air or from um, just your surroundings in general you assimilate it more in the body have you done blood work have you done oh yeah testing? i did, I did blood work uh, last year and what did it look they like they were perfectly fine and you don't look malnourished in any way. You're strong, you know? Do you have, like, peanut butter in the closet or something that no. you have sometimes? <laughs> Bro, I... I don't even know what to say. This is... No. You really don't. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you're alive? <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the calories, there's something else to be noted, that we live in a world of gases. The, one of the most proponent gases that we always overlook in terms of the air is nitrogen and carbon specifically carbon because most of our atoms is made up of carbon so this is why i really focus more on the carbon buildup in the body when it comes to breathing yes, i'm gonna be honest with you okay 
I'm just very skeptical of everything you're saying because obviously some of these things are just so outside the realm of how we are taught. You know? Yeah, sometimes I have to st take a step back and just remind myself like, hey, not everyone <laughs> thinks like this. Or... <laughs> not, no, no one thinks like that. All right? No one. Yeah. <laughs> that this is a little <laughs> bit outside the, the norm. Mm -hmm. As skeptical as I... Like outside the triangle, you know? outside the pyramid was I really felt like Devon was being honest and genuine with me it didn't feel like he was lying but how was this possible hopefully trying out more of his breathing I wonder if they have like like bottled air from different places in the world you know like I'm trying to get that Paris air you know what I'm saying I'm trying to get that gourmet that gourmet Italian air baby right like, there has to be different errors. I'm sure there's a way you can make money off this. I'm trying to get that, oof, Australian air. Mmm, my favorite. Techniques would help me understand. So I want you just a regular inhale. And then exhale three. <laughs> my main message is not to make anyone believe or practice breatharianism. My main message is to spread breath consciousness because when one themselves experience it, then they themselves can feel that what I'm talking is the truth. <laughs> With every breath, I'm accepting more love, gratitude, and the power to let go. How are we feeling? That was literally <laughs> just a couple rounds, and yeah. immediately you can notice your entire body and mind change. Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah, like meditating it works, and it's like good. And it will definitely make you feel better, if, especially if you don't do it often. But, like, does that also mean that you can't eat, <laughs> that you can survive off of breathing? Uh, nah. What do you consume? About 99% coconut water. You drink water, right? I barely drink water. I don't drink water, really. What do you mean you don't drink water? Mainly coconut water, urine. There is literally a... What? Did, how? You? What? Who does that? How, who just? <laughs> yeah, I drink coconut water, some urine, uh, Monster Energy drinks, uh, Diet Pepsi. Um, yeah, you know, just the normal stuff. What? Sir? Stop. 103 minerals. In urine. This is yours. Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely no, no, no. Uh uh. Nope. Don't do this. I want to make it very clear. Don't do this, please. Well, this is about a, a good week. Was this enjoyable to drink? Uh, the feeling is, yeah. So if I was gonna do a real breatharian day in your life, I would drink my urine. You don't have to, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day, if this video gets enough likes. 10,000 likes! <laughs> now! <laughs> and I'll drink my own pee, alright? No. Nope. Never enough likes, alright? Not happening. Yo, I am, I, I feel sick. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> I'm scared. How, how is there more to this video? How? <sighs> so this is the first thing you've had today. Other than urine. Right, right, we have the urine. Yet again, it was time for even more breathing exercises, which was essentially our food for the day. Yum. So we're going to be doing flame breathing. Flame breathing, you may know fire breathing. How did they bring that? How did they, how did they get that to the park? All right. How did they get that big triangle to the park? Did they break it down and then set it up in the park? Really? But this is a little bit different. Flame is a continuous ember versus the fire. You're trying to spark, 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 spark. Grab your knees, and then on the inhale, you're gonna arch your head back. 
and then you're gonna come down on the exhale, <laughs> but you wanna let out a grunt and like you're sneezing. And catch me with snot all over my shirt. <laughs> When you first started doing this, were you like this, where your energy was just dipping really hard? I look at that as a detox. A detoxing from caffeine, essentially. Most likely. No, man, you're hungry, bro. What? You're hungry. <laughs> we, we are going to do this? Yeah, we are going to do this. Oh, that's, that's, uh, real, that's real the real thing. Do you want to show me how you do this? Yeah. Okay. So I like to start off with my left feet first. It's good to have your intentions while you're standing up. Why do we do... These are like, it's just, so seeing stuff like this, it just like solidifies how ridiculous this stuff is, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. It's like, th these are circus acts from so long ago that like you can watch videos on youtube on how they don't like it's not actually anything crazy like it'd be more impressive if the nails were more spe spaced out and there wasn't like there's such a little space in between them and they're all even that if you step on it like it's going to be a little uncomfortable but like if there was only seven nails on that thing then it'd be a lot more you know impressive but it's like do this so think of it as ac acupuncture and we know that different organs in terms of the nervous system is connected on our feet. So I look at it as a beautiful shock wave going up the body for healing. I think it's your time to shine. Should I get on these nails yeah. or what? Any tips as far as her breathing goes? Yes. Mostly nose if you can. Try to do mostly nose. Try to How focus. long should I try and go for? Aim for a minute. Aim for a minute. Should we time it? Aim for a minute. Right. Oh my god. Hand. Oh, there you go. Slow it down. Slow down the breath. I mean, it's just so unnecessary. Like, I don't... <laughs> I just, like... Or, instead of doing all this, you know, eat. There you go. <laughs> And a lot of this stuff is like very. I, I, I can't stop on her foot. I couldn't stop on just her foot on the screen. But like all of this stuff is so. It's a lot of it's based on like placebo because you feel so different. You feel like you have made some crazy breakthrough. So therefore, that thing must be so great, and it's like completely life changing. It's like, dude, it's something that's very different for you that makes you feel very different, which is totally understandable. Plus, you haven't eaten all day. So, like, this is all, these are all very intense experiences that you are having in a short amount of time. So, of course, you're going to be like, oh my God, that was life changing. I need to, like, it's just a very different experience. Just like if you went, yeah, like a cult, but like, even if you went, did it some crazy hike, it's the same thing. Oh my God, it was the craziest experience of my life. It's like, yeah, you had a ton of new experiences that you're not used to that made you feel differently than you normally do. Like, Fun. oh my God. You did it. High five. High oh five. my yeah. God. You did it. You ready to do it with the hands? What? <laughs> hands? Oh my gosh. I feel like they're going to pump, burst, like, burst through my skin. I've never seen How a good push up on this. These are nails. Like you could really hurt yourself. You could, yes, you can. Oh, I'm scared. Mm, yeah. One more. Oh. <laughs> like it's definitely like piercing. Like you can see. Look at this. My relationship to pain is 
completely changed since I started doing things that are painful, like with intention, like cold therapy, right. or even just like really hard exercise where you're pushing yourself and you're in pain. I think there's a lot of value in being in pain, even like emotional pain, like not resisting, but really feeling because we think pain is wrong or bad as humans, but it's a complete part of the human experience. Right. I mean, that's there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. Like pushing yourself through pain is not like obviously there's extents to it, but it's not an inherently bad thing. It's something that a lot of people that want to lose a lot of weight really struggle with is feeling pain of maybe feeling a little bit hungry or the pain of an exercise, feeling like any any extra any pain through exercise is like a scary bad thing. But like again, this is just pushing it so far to the extreme that again, not necessary. Have you ever seen him eat? No. See, I think that it would. That was a lie. That was a lie. She said, no. Be a whole other story if you were living on your own, saying you're doing this. It's hard to believe, but would you have somebody who's been living with you for two years as a testament to be like, nope, <laughs> literally never seen the guy eat operative food, <laughs> I'll always say no. For me, like, I can just make my own meal and have fun with it. Not worrying about my partners oh does he like this or he, what, what does he eat you know? although the black airbender remains a mystery to me and i'm still not a hundred percent sold on the whole breatharian thing i truly enjoyed stepping into devon's world for a day experiencing the pain from my caffeine withdrawal actually opened my eyes to how addicted to this legal drug i truly was i actually decided to quit caffeine i'm super curious to know what y'all think of breatharians and the black airbender do you think this is for real or is all of this just a bunch of bs please tell me your honest opinion in the comments it's a bunch of bs let me hear it what i've realized very clearly about my channel is that i really just want to inspire a shift from judgment to curiosity that shift alone creates infinite potential because when we're in judgment we're we're close off to everything we can learn everything we can be She's talking to me right now. It's okay. And how that can expand our reality when we shift to curiosity. Oh my goodness. How much can I learn from my day with you? Do the breath work yourself. If you shift to curiosity, it's much easier to get scammed, you know? <laughs> oh, and try it out yourself and see how you feel. Go based off your feeling. Don't go based off what you think. If you, if you haven't tried it yourself, and who are you to judge at that point? Vibe Tribe, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below if you want to see me do a part two with Yvonne, <laughs> the black air. So all in all, I mean, like I said, she seems great, and it was a great video from her. So I'm not like being like, she's like a terrible person. I, I thought it was a great video. I think she did a great job. So definitely go check her out. Sky Life is the name of the channel. Um, but for me, I'm sorry, your boy ain't drinking his own pee-pee, you know? And I'm going to eat. Because I'm hungry. All right? Wow.